of weird, man. They they don't move very fast, but they move a lot. They just they kind of they kind of go like that, and don't go anywhere. So imitating them is kind of tough, but you need to you need something that has some movement to it. So they kind of cling to vegetation most of the time. Well, when they yeah, well when they're migrating, they they always migrate to structure. You ever have they'll they'll hatch on your legs? Come you climb up on your yeah. I've had them all over my hat and everything, man. They crawl over you. So but when they swim. Some they kind of swim some, like this, but yeah. they don't go anywhere. It's like they'll swim like that, and then they'll stop, and they'll kind of sink, and then they they do that again. So trying to imitate them is kind of tough. So you can do like a hand twist, but you need a fly that's got some movement to it, you know. So like J Fair wiggle tail or something like that. Well, if you look at the one I tied there, uh, Border ties something. What he does is tie it on a short shank hook, but with a long marabou tail. So that it, it gives it, it, yeah, kind of yeah. Every once in a while, somebody comes up with some. That's what they think is going to work to make them swim. Man, you can't. I have, those ones with the little lip on them? Well, yeah. cast one of those species of crap? Yeah, I know. They, they cast just like they go through the water. Yeah, right? try, trying to get a lip yeah, on a size 12 yeah, fly is kind of tough. Them. So, yeah. So, anyway. But that fly actually works pretty pretty well. And I, I'll, the one I'll tie this one. We'll put a little weight on this one. But I actually tie them weighted and unweighted. Because a lot of times when those things are migrating, they're getting right close to this. Just in the surf weed bed or something. So anyway, this one I'm going to put, this is 10,000 sled, I'm just going to put like five wraps, just, and it gives it a little bit of a jigging action too. And I want it up, up toward the front. And as far as color goes, those damsels are whatever the color of the weeds are. So, like manzanita, they're kind of this goldy, goldy olive color, and yeah, some, some places they're green. Because the, the weed beds are green. Uh, they more, match more. The, yeah, they basically match whatever the vegetation is. And that's the 52's uh, 12 again? No, this is, no, this is a, a, well it is, this is this is a 2312. It's a curved, it's got a little curve, little curve to it. Okay. It's a ring eye. The other one's a down eye. It's actually like a little hopper. But, but. And these are the cheap fly shop hooks, which I would recommend. They're not very sharp. These aren't very sharp, yeah. If you're using lead, you always want to put a little glue on them or it'll oxidize them. So I'm going to put a set of eyes on, on this one. So that was just 50 pound clear mono that you yeah, this on. Yeah, it cost them like $1.99 for 500 yards. Well, yeah, they yeah. all spool. Yeah. But you have to experiment how much you need. I, I'm using about a half inch, but to get the, the, same the, size, size. Well, the size of the ball you want them yeah. to. So you have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit. And you keep nice. them all in one, one container, or do you mix them up by, are they mixed up, or are they... No, I just, I just do them one size. I don't tie these things more than one size. You could, I mean, you could, if you wanted to do different sizes, you could, you know, cut longer length and it'll give you a bigger eye. Like if you want to do some dragonflies or something, you could do that. So you do yours about, what, a half inch? Or yeah, for this 50 pound, I, I had some other stuff that was like 25 pound that uh, I used a little bit more. A little copper rib on this. <coughs> I'm going to put it in on the back side because I'm going to counter wrap the, this marabou. And I want to bring this down to just about the barb. So, both these flies, the, the materials are really specific for what you need. Uh, this is marabou, but you can't just use any marabou you Wait, what, I'm, what I'm looking for in marabou is I want some fairly fine tips then I want a little bit of fuzz in here now you get some marabou that's that's real short and bulky I had a really bad one in front but what you don't want is you need these long plumes you don't want a marabou Feather that looks like that's just like that, because you have no thin end to it to wrap. So what I want to do here is, I'm going to take a clump of this stuff, because damsels have like like three paddle tails, kind of thick. But what I want is kind of imitate that plus a little bit of an extended body in order to try to get some movement to it. But then I want a real thin body because they're really thin too. 
Are they gills? Is that what's? Yeah, the, the tails are the gills. tails are actually gills. Yeah. Kind of like a bug or something. Yeah. Out. What I usually do is just kind of tear the tips off this stuff. So you never cut the tips. Yeah, I want it kind of kind of rough, but and then I want I'm going to extend this thing about the length of the hook is what I want the the extra sticking out. So what that's going to it kind of moves a little bit. It doesn't look like the real thing, but it it moves a little bit. So I'm just going to tie it down a couple wraps. And I'm going to bring my thread forward to right behind the lid. <coughs> I'm going to grab it, twist it a little bit. Make my wraps. Now their bodies aren't fuzzy, but the fuzz kind of adds to the movement a little bit, gives a little bit more life rather than just a like a stick. And right behind my lid. Take my wire and I'm going to come under the tail and I'm going to counter wrap this. And I'm going to try to not, if I zigzag a little bit, I'm going to try not to tie down any. Yeah, I want to try to keep those fibers kind of, kind of fuzzed out if I can. I'm going to tie the wire off on top of my lid. Scissors. Yeah, they're carbide. Okay, so for the wing case, I'm going to use I'm going to use peacock, and actually, it's their wing cases aren't that dark, but it kind of gives it a lot of a little more life. Peacock's got a lot of a lot of flash to it. And what I want to do, I'm going to tie it in by the tips, because when I when I pull it over, I want the fibers to go back. If I tie it in by the butts, then it's going to go. Uh, the the fiber is going to be forward, yeah. I want it, I want it fairly, fairly bulky right there, too. So. Tie that back to up the end of the lid. Take, here, I want to build up a little more bulk so I don't, I don't want all those real fine tips. Yeah, right. not, not very subtle. He's not too good. You'd be secure you'd have your ass in a minute. So I want, I'm going to build up a little more bulk here. I'm going to make it nice and fuzzy. Tie it off behind the eyes. This is a fly you want to tie on uh, when you're fishing. You want to tie it with a loop so you get a little bit more movement with it. And you don't want to use 5X, man, because those guys will bust you off. They, they hit these things really hard. That works like 3X or 4X? Yeah, yeah, 4 anyway. So I'm going to tie in a few legs. Now when these things swim, they're, they, they don't sw really swim like that. Their legs are kind of... Fold it in, they kind of do that, but trying to imitate that is kind of tough. So I'm just going to tie in some partridge here on either side. Try to get as much movement out of this thing as I can. Sweep them back a little bit. Yeah, just.
this time, man. They're gonna, they're gonna naturally, they're naturally gonna go back anyway. It's kind of like those hexes too. They they swim and then they their legs kind of go they out. Out and they start. Yeah, and then they tuck them back in when they swim again. So, so I'm just gonna take half a dozen fibers or so. Get, the, get them to curve along the side, that's good if you can't. Pull the wink is I'm gonna do the same thing I did with that yarn. I'm gonna pull it over and tie it down behind the eyes. And come up to the eye of the hook, bring it over. And I'm gonna tie off behind the eyes. Haircut. A haircut right at the eyes, yeah. Some of the fuzz on it. A little head cement, that's, that's it. Very nice.